And as you can see, this is the next, next step. You choose the language. In this case, it's only English. And install. Okay, you just um, here your uh, your key product, or if you don't have it for the moment, you just click I don't have key, and you choose either way is Windows 11 Home. In this case, I'm gonna install Windows 11 Pro. Then go next, and since this is a fresh install, here you just accept, uh, accept and go next, and. Like I said, this is a uh, fresh install, so it's gonna be uh, um, custom. So you just choose and you have the partition. So you press shift. Sorry about that, you just press shift and F10. And it goes to the CMD. You just press on. Um, Press disk hard all together, enter and then list space disk enter. Oops, I did something wrong. Okay, let's start over again. Disk hard enter and then list space disk and then select disk zero in this case which is the main um, hard drive see as you can see is 465 is what is left from the hard drive you know as they getting older is going losing more uh, gigs so this is a uh, 500 gigs but since it's been for a while so we only have 465 so select this zero oh sorry select disk zero that is selected now Let's type clean. It's clean. Now we just exit twice. And here you go. Now you what you have to do to delete the partition, just go fresh, refresh. And there you go. You have the 465.8. And then if you want to put the name or choose a different letter from the the drive, I mean the hard drive, you just click uh, click new, and in this case, I'm just gonna go next. See, uh, there you go, you just follow the instructions, and it might turn off a little, a um, couple of times while installing the, the all the files. See, already installed the drivers and the windows, so it's just uh, restarting the service, it's getting device ready it's gonna take a little bit so I'm gonna cut the video so we don't make it that long so you can see it's already 50 percent and like I say it's a 500 gigs and hard drive and 4 gigs of uh, RAM so it's not the best computer but you can upgrade it to another for it it will be way much faster so I'll see you in a little bit as you can see, already went through, install everything, so you just follow the instructions here. So you just go, yes, on the language, depending on where are you from, or what language do you want to install. So this is how Windows 11 looks. Say so US, in my case, skip, an extra keyboard. Okay, now it's connecting to it's trying to connect to the internet which is going to give you the option if you want to connect right away but you're going to have to if you have the account with microsoft you're fine but if you don't have it 
you don't have it or you don't want to um, you know to be under your name you want to give it to somebody you want to sell it or something you just I don't, I don't have internet and then I continue with limited setup and then you just put any any name or something that you want it in this case I'm just gonna put S and it goes next to the password if you don't want to put any password you just go next and there you go that's all but mostly you have to do this is the most important this is just a privacy settings and all that kind of stuff but, you know just accept accept that's it so yep that's pretty much it so I'll see you back in a little bit as soon as it finish and as you can see it's going through already to the whole process you can see the message for welcome it's just gonna take a couple of seconds and we're done. It is now Windows 11 and your new computer. When you sign in on the Microsoft account, you will be all these um, apps here and some other more that you're gonna get it automatically. Thank you for watching the video and if you have any questions, let me know. And also, if you like the video, let me know so I can make more. Thank you.